We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by the Creator. These words tell the story of our country's founding, declaring America's independence from Great Britain and shaping our rights as citizens. Once a vision for the United States of America, crafted by our founding fathers, these words are now preserved as living proof of our history here at the National Archives in Washington, D.C. Today, we join a group of middle schoolers as they visit some of our nation's most important documents that define what it means to be we the people. So the National Archives is the nation's record keeper. Anything created for or by the federal government comes to us eventually, and we are in charge of preserving it and making it accessible to the general public. The federal government that once waged a fierce battle to keep the Pentagon Papers secret today made them public in neatly cataloged boxes at the National Archives. Congress established the National Archives and Records Administration in 1934 with the important job of caring for the records of the U.S. government. Congress made laws that said that we have to preserve federal records so citizens like you guys can come and examine them. So we are an executive branch division our agency is because we're carrying that out. We're preserving the records like Congress told them to. In our democracy, records belong to the people. These documents help us as citizens to claim our rights, hold elected officials accountable, and preserve our history as a country. The most popular documents for anyone coming to visit Washington, D.C. for us are the Declaration, Constitution, and the Bill of Rights. Okay guys, what you are looking at is the original Declaration of Independence, the actual real faded. thing. It is really faded. You can barely even see the letters. You can this barely, that's true. Me. Can anybody see a date on it? July 4th, 1776. Oh, right there. Very good, 1776. The Declaration of Independence is, well we summarize it with the kids as saying it's like the breakup letter with Great Britain, but it's the most epic breakup letter that you'll ever encounter because it outlines, here is our philosophy for government, and here are a list of grievances saying, you're not living up to this. Well, the Declaration of Independence laid the groundwork for the revolution and laid the groundwork for our Constitution and the rest of the way our government has functioned. Who are we declaring our independence from? We're British. Very good. Why? Because they're like taxing us. The oh. king was taxed. Okay. Yeah, we're being taxed. Did we have a say in the government saying like, hey, we don't want to be taxed that much. We want to have a voice in our own government? Yeah. No. So we declared our freedom from England. And those 56 men who put their names on that document were risking their lives. And they knew it. You know, the term Butcher John Hancock here has taken on a, a meaning of put your signature here. Well, King George III had very, very poor eyesight. And so John Hancock said, I want to make sure he can read my name. It was the supreme act of defiance. The Declaration of Independence paved the way for the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and many other important documents that weave together our history as a country. I think it's important that young people know and understand our, our founding documents, the principles upon which our, our nation was founded. Government is not them, it's us. It's made up of us. It's your democracy. It's your government. And you have to be involved. While the words on the documents are faded by time, they continue to inspire a nation of we the people. We hold these truths to be self-evident. Remembering the guidance of our founders, e pluribus unum, from many one. That all men are created equal. They didn't know how many we would become or how different we'd be from each other, but they knew we had to strive for oneness. That they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. To remember always, despite our differences, we are one country, indivisible, one nation under God. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. 